Hey everybody, Ethan Hochul here with the Hochul Real Estate Team in Century 21. On this week's episodes of Ask Ethan, we're talking about it, are there gonna be more foreclosures coming to the market as the forbearance ends? So are we gonna see a flood of foreclosures hit the market in 2021 as forbearance uh, is up and people have to now make due on their mortgage payments? We don't believe so. With everything out there, so if you, if you compare this to 2008, 2009, what happened then? A lot of people at that point actually had what they call like negative equity in their house. They overpaid for their house, they paid way too much, they didn't use any money to actually buy their house, and so they didn't have any equity. So when it came time to selling, one, their home was actually worth a lot, worth a lot less than what they bought it for, uh, for one. And then two, they really didn't have any money into it. Um, and three, they actually didn't even have the money really to buy it, but they still were able to buy it. Um, and so all that um, led to people just ending up foreclosing on their home. And they really did that on purpose because that was their option. That was really their only option at the time. They didn't really want to try to force, hey, figure out ways to do it. They couldn't sell it. So um, really it was like deliberate uh, foreclosure. In this market right now, more people have equity in their homes than almost ever before and the most equity. And so there are equi there's equity in there. Homes are rising at a, uh, home prices are rising um, at a great rate, um, at a steady rate, a healthy rate. And so people aren't losing, they're not upside down in their homes. And then, yeah, like I said, more people than ever have um, money, have equity into their home right now. So if they did need to sell, they could sell it and not have to uh, foreclose on it because they actually could pull money out of it and they can get what they need to out of it in order to sell. Also, the way forbearance works, there's multiple different ways that this can be done. And so you can actually, one, um, you can you can put the for if you don't have the money right now you can actually tack what you didn't pay currently and in the forbearance period you can actually tack that onto the end of your loan term so you don't need to pay it now if you don't have the money you can also just bump up your payments now if you do have money and now say you started working full-time and you have money you can actually bump up your payments on a monthly basis to make up that difference or you can pay the lump sum in one as well so there's different options this time the government understood that Hey, we can't do what we did in 2008, 2009, where we just said, oh, yep, you gotta pay it or you gotta go. And so with their options this time, it's very more forgiving. Um, and so that's very exciting. There's different options for people there. Also, we see, hopefully have the vaccine coming. Um, the vaccines are gonna help. People aren't gonna fall even further behind. Hopefully people can get back to work, start making money again, et cetera, et cetera. Um, on top of that, what they were predicting when we went into this and when they went to the forbearance program, um, they, um, they predicted that it was gonna be 30% of homeowners were actually gonna file for a forbearance program. Um, what research shows is actually only 10% of those homeowners actually filed for forbearance. So there's only 10% of the people out there that actually even use the forbearance um, that they were that was available to them. And so that's also, even if there are some foreclosures, and yes, there probably will be some um, that come on because there are every year um, for numerous reasons, but um, it's not like half of the country all of a sudden couldn't pay their mortgage any longer or lost their job or fell behind and stuff like that. And so that's kind of our prediction and what um, all the leaders, the leading experts in the field say, and we do a ton of research on this kind of stuff. And so um, that's kind of what we're seeing for that. So yes, there may be some that come on. Obviously there are almost every single year, um, but do we see a flood of them? Do we see another 2008, 2009 coming? No, there's no indicators of that, um, that that's where things are gonna lead. And especially because the, the supply of homes is so low right now. Back in 2008, 2009, people couldn't sell their home. There was a 10, 11 month supply of homes out on the market at that point in time. Right now we're under two months supply, almost close to one month supply of homes um, on the market where we stand today. So hopefully you found this uh, information useful. Hopefully that maybe helped put you to ease there. But like always, um, if you have any questions, definitely uh, direct message us, find us on Facebook, Instagram. We'd love to chat with you more about this. Um, but otherwise stay tuned for our next episodes of Ask Ethan and we'll talk to you soon.